Although there are around 20,000 species of bees, only five of them have the capacity to produce honey. Do you want to know how they produce it? In this The Daily Eagle video, we explain the entire process from when the bees make the honey to when the beekeeper extracts it from the honeycombs. Let's dive right in. First, they go in search for nectar. They look for flowers and take their nectar to store it in their honey crop, or the stomach of honey. The process of honey formation begins at the moment when the worker bees leave the hive to go in search for flowers with plenty of nectar. Once they find them, they take the nectar with their long tongue. It's important to note that nectar is a liquid with sugars that plants secrete in order to attract insects such as bees to pollinate them. Once the worker bees take the nectar, they temporarily store it in their honey stomach or honey crop, which is different from the stomach they use to feed themselves. Secondly, they return to the hive. They indicate to the rest of the bees through dance where they should go to collect more nectar. They also pass the nectar to other bees that are responsible for aerating it. With their honey crop full, they return to the hive. There, with a curious dance, they indicate to the rest of the bees where exactly the flowers they have found are so they can go and collect as much nectar as possible. Then the bees empty their nectar crops and give it to other bees that are in charge of the aeration maneuver. This consists of swallowing and regurgitating the nectar several times for about 20 minutes so that it loses moisture. In addition, some enzymes present in the honey crops are added. Before we continue, let's put you to the test. How long do you think honey lasts? Is it A, five years, B, 10 years, C, 15 years, or D, it never expires? What do you think the correct answer is? Think about it, because at the end of the video, you'll be able to see if you're right. Next, they store the liquid in the honeycombs. Once the desired consistency is achieved, they store the liquid in the honeycombs and move their wings so it loses more moisture. When it is the right consistency, they store the resulting liquid in the honeycomb. We cannot call this liquid honey yet, as it still needs to lose more moisture. To do this, they move their wings over the combs until they see a suitable consistency, which is usually less than 20% moisture. This will prevent fermentation. And finally, once they have made the honey, they seal it with the same wax with which they have made the honeycomb in the form of a thin layer called an operculum. Now let's see how the beekeepers continue the process to extract the honey from the comb. The beekeeper extracts the honey. They remove the thin layer of wax that protects the honey, then they extract it from the combs using an extractor and leave it to rest stored in small tanks. When the beekeeper collects some honeycombs, the first thing he does is uncap them that is, remove the thin layer of wax that protects the honey. This can be done with special knives or machines with blades called uncapping machines. The uncapped combs are then introduced into the extractor. This is a machine that makes the combs spin quickly, in such a way that the centrifugal force is in charge of extracting the honey from the comb. Finally, the honey is extracted and stored in small deposits and is left to rest for a few days. This way, if any impurity remains, it can be eliminated by decantation, since the honey, being denser, stays at the bottom and the impurities rise to the surface. Lastly, let's go back to the question we asked you before. Have you thought about it? The correct answer is D. Honey retains all its beneficial properties for many, many years, so we can say that it never expires. In fact, honey of up to 3,000 years old has been found in some pharaonic tombs, and it was still in perfect conditions. We hope you've enjoyed this video and let us know in the comments below what part of the process you found more interesting. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.